Good morning, big beautiful wilderness. Shoot, I'm really wishing I was in the wilderness, and I'm guessing if you're watching this channel, you guys can relate to that. Today we're doing something a little fun and different. I am collaborating with five different YouTube channels. We'll all be discussing an identical topic, and that topic is our favorite luxury items on trail. Uh, it's open to interpretation, so I have no idea what the other folks will be discussing on their channels, and it will be a surprise to us all when we uh, go live simultaneously. Uh, those other channels are Christine Machado, who I'd like to thank for organizing the whole collaboration, Homemade Wanderlust, Jack's Drinkwater, Roger Lamb, and Utah Steve Outdoors. So it's going to be fun, guys. So the links to the channels are below, guys. Definitely check them out. I'm just as excited to check them out as you are. I have no idea what they're going to talk about. So let's see what their favorite luxury items are. My first luxury item is my sleeping pad. This is my Thermalest, Thermalest Eagle Light. It runs, I believe, around the $129 range. Um, it's a little pricey. Uh, I tried several different sleeping pads out at REI because you have the ability to you know, check them out, lay on them actually, the ones that they have inflated, and see what works best for you. I'm a side sleeper, so this one worked really well for me with these extra coils in here. It is a self-inflating sleeping pad, although I use that term very loosely because it takes a lot of huffing and puffing on my part to uh, get this thing fully inflated to uh, how you see it now. So, self-inflating, eh, not so much. But once it's inflated, it's awesome. It's uh, comfortable. It doesn't make it a lot of noise when you're you know, tossing and turning at night, which I tend to do a lot, rolling from one side to the other. Um, let's face it guys, the Cowboys did not have sleeping pads. They slept on the ground, which is, you know, kind of firm. If you like a firm mattress, if you like something real firm, then hey, you don't need this for survival, you can sleep on the ground. People do have these uh, Thermarest Z-Lights, and I actually cut mine um, in half just to save a few ounces, because I really mainly use it to sit on around camp, but I do actually put it under my rest uh, Evo Light as well, just to you know give me a little extra padding and have a little bit of the extra comforts of home out on trail. Um, let's face it, guys, though, it's not going to feel like your mattress. So just you know be aware of that and be uh, cognizant that you know it's going to add some comfort, but it's not going to feel like your California king at home. One other thing about this bad boy is the deflating process is a it is a process. I try to let the air out, you know, as soon as I wake up in the morning, but there's still quite a bit of air in it, and it takes some muscle to get this thing deflated, so uh, it's kind of a hilarious process to watch. The good news is, and you always got to look at the bright side, don't you, is that it warms you up in those cold mountain mornings, because it's exercise getting this thing deflated. But it's worth it for the comfort it gives me during the night. My other luxury item is my C2 Summit, and this is a Eros pillow. It's an ultra light pillow, super, super light. And again, we don't need a pillow on trail for our survival, but it's sure nice to have one. Lots of people use their you know, clothing, they'll put it in their stuff sack and put that under their um, heads, but you know, for basically weighing like just mere ounces, it's, it's kind of worth it. We ran into a situation where um, somebody that I was hiking with basically had to wear all of their layers because it, so, it was that cold. And unfortunately that left her with very little options for pillows. So um, this thing, uh, unlike the Thermalist Arrest Evo Light, deflates it like a charm in just like seconds. So, and also inflates in seconds. So it's awesome. The only thing I would say is be sure not to lean on it with your elbows because these seams will pop, which I found out the hard way, but luckily with REI's awesome return policy, I was able to take it back and get a new one. So it was worth it to me to have that, have it again just because I become accustomed to using it. So the pillow, the, this sleeping pad, obviously it's not a matter of life and death on trail, but you know, if it makes it a little bit more comfortable, and especially if you're going to be hiking multiple days, a good night's rest is pretty important. Um, just do it, you know. I have my pack down to about a 25, 26 pound weight right now, so 
with this included food, water, you know, if I'm somewhere with, you know, plentiful water. So um, it's worth it to me. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'd love to hear your suggestions. If you have suggestions with regards to, you know, gear that you use, I'd be more than happy to hear what you have to say because I'm always open to suggestions and I'm not afraid to take something back and get something better if there's something better out there. So please leave your comments. Thank you for watching and thanks for subscribing once again. You guys rule. Thank you for the thumbs up. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And uh, we'll see you on trail.